Hard to believe we're going to go from snow on Friday to maybe 70 degrees today. Record highs possible 70s again tomorrow. That kind of roller coaster ride of temperatures can spawn strong thunderstorms, even severe thunderstorms this time of the year. So I'm going to talk about are you prepared, are you ready for severe weather season? Last year, 2023, Illinois had 120 reports of tornadoes. We led the country in terms of reports of tornadoes. It tripled the amount we saw during the year 2022. And going back in the records that go back pretty far, about 70 years, pretty complete records, uh, only 2006 had more, 124 reports of tornadoes. So the graphic you're looking at here, the average number of days with at least one or more severe weather reports per month, it shows we tend to peak in May, June, and July. And then the months after that come August, September, April and March, but notice that line curving up as we get especially towards March. So severe weather season definitely starts to ramp up this time of the year. What is a severe thunderstorm report? It could be any one of the following three. You don't need all three, at least one. A report of a tornado, a report of 58 mile per hour winds or stronger for damaging winds, or a report of hail an inch diameter or greater. And then you officially have a report of severe weather according to the Storm Prediction Center. So again, the three worst months, May, June, and July, but the numbers start to really ramp up as we get towards March. What about tornadoes? In terms of tornadoes, the three worst months are May, June, and actually August. According to this time period, they studied the National Weather Service in Chicago, 2001 to 2020. After those three months, after May, June, and August, we've got July, followed by April, then September, and then we get to March. So again, in terms of tornadoes, we start to see those numbers start to ramp up as we get towards March as well. So we have to be on the alert, have to be on the lookout, and be weather aware, certainly, as we get into March, and especially as we get further and deeper into spring and even into summer. So for the next 10 days, look at this 10-day forecast in terms of temperatures. 70 today, 74 tomorrow. And look as we fall into the 40s Wednesday and Thursday. So you know a strong cold front is coming through tomorrow. That could produce some severe weather. As a matter of fact, the Storm Prediction Center has placed us in a slight risk category. Here are the categories according to the Storm Prediction Center. They updated this a few years ago to include a couple additional categories. We're now up to five. On the low end is a marginal risk of severe thunderstorms. And that means isolated severe thunderstorms are possible. They should be limited in duration and or coverage and or intensity. So that's the low end. On the high end, You've got the high risk, and that means widespread severe thunderstorms likely they should be long-lived, very widespread, particularly intense. We are in the slight risk category for tomorrow, and that means, uh, again, scattered severe thunderstorms are possible. They should be short-lived and or not widespread. However, isolated intense thunderstorms are possible, and there is even the possibility of a couple tornadoes around here during the day tomorrow. We've got the strong cold front coming in, coming in very cold air up aloft. As we start to pump up more moisture from the Gulf, the atmosphere will start to get more warm and unstable. It looks like the window is late tomorrow afternoon, late Tuesday afternoon, into the evening hours probably of tomorrow night. Now here is the slight risk category outlined here according to the Storm Prediction Center for tomorrow. The marginal risk includes that area in green across the northwest portion of the state and southern Wisconsin, but wherever you see yellow as a slight risk for severe storms. The greatest risk in terms of hazards from these storms tomorrow is hail and also high winds. So the sphere risk for hail is about 15% around here. Same percentage, same probability in terms of severe winds. Again, those are 58 mile per hour winds or stronger. When you're looking at tornadoes, the risk drops quite a bit, but there still is a risk about a 5% from near the city and southward down towards Joliet, Kankakee, northern and central Indiana. And then those areas shaded in the green, it's about a 2% risk for tornadoes tomorrow. So I've included in my blog post several uh, links to help you get prepared in terms of safety for a severe weather season. And one of the best things you can do is make sure you have multiple ways of staying alert and getting those uh, weather alerts from different sources. I'm meteorologist Tim McGill.